Hello, this is Shoyan, a Japanese carpenter. Today, I'd like to talk about two types of blades for rip sawing and crosscut sawing of Japanese saws. First of all, regarding timbers, this is crosscut grain and this is straight grain. Fibers of both timbers are running lengthwise. Crosscut sawing means to cut a timber at right angles to its fibers. And rip sawing means to cut a timber along the direction of fibers. Next, regarding blade of saws, Japanese saws have two types of blades that are for rip sawing and crosscut sawing. Fine tooth blade is for crosscut sawing, and sharp and coarse tooth blade is for rip sawing. Then let me show you crosscut sawing. Like this, cut a timber by fine teeth. If I cut it by blade for rip sawing, the saw is caught, so I cannot cut it well. This is because the teeth of a blade for rip sawing are sharp and coarse. So the first tooth is caught and I cannot move the saw. The resistance to move it is too much. On the other hand, the teeth of a blade for crosscut sawing are small and round. So the resistance to move it is not so much. So I can move it to the next tooth and next, 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 like this. It cannot cut timbers very much at once. But I can cut the fibers by moving the blade little by little. Next, regarding rip sawing, let me show you first. There is much more resistance when rip sawing than crosscut sawing. So fix the timber tightly by the leg and cut it. I need a power a little this time, but I can cut it straightly and clean. Let me try to cut it by crosscut sawing. I also can cut it, but I need to put it more times and the surface of cutting is uneven and not clean. This unevenness is because the teeth of crosscut sawing is more fine than those of rip sawing, and each small tooth is bent to slide alternately. This is called asari in Japanese. The teeth for crosscut sawing are bent more than those of rip sawing. So when I cut timbers by crosscut sawing, the cutting line is wider by the width of this asari. Next, in case of cut timbers diagonally, basically cut them by blade of crosscut sawing at any angles. Even if it's almost along fibers, the blade of rip sawing is caught and I cannot move it. So even the angle is close to fibers direction, it's better to cut timbers diagonally by crosscut sawing. As I've explained to you, crosscut sawing somewhat cut timbers at any angles, but rip sawing can cut them only along fibers direction. The important thing is to choose a proper blade case by case. That's all for today's talk of Japanese sauce of crosscut sawing and rip sawing. Thank you very much.